This video will show you how to add your teaching staff to the bookings calendar so that students can book in with their tutor for an interactive oral. Click on staff to add people to your calendar. Notice that bookings has automatically added you as an administrator of this calendar. Right now, this means that you are bookable through your personal Outlook calendar, which you don't want. Remember, we want to make this calendar available only for the times that your teaching staff have agreed to examine, and we don't want bookings going into anyone's personal Outlook calendar. So we need to shut down your availability through this administrator role. To do this, click into the little edit pencil to the right of your details. Then untick these two boxes by clicking on them, Events on Calendar and Use Business Hours. Then click the cross box for Monday to Friday to indicate that you are not available on any of those days. Finally, untick the email notification box here and press save at the top. So now you have access as an administrator, but you will not be receiving any bookings to your personal Outlook calendar. The next step is to add any other people who need administrative oversight in here, such as course conveners or tutors. Click the Add Staff button and type in their name in the Add People field. Then in this field, use the drop down to change their role to Administrator. Once again, untick the Events on Calendar box, the Use Business Hours box, and the Email Notifications and cross off all availability for Monday to Friday so that these people do not get bookings to their personal calendar. Then press Save. Make sure you notify your teaching team that you're creating this calendar and advise them to keep an eye on their email. Once you add them to the calendar, they will receive an email with an action to accept and you need them to do this so that they can access the calendar. Now it's time to add the Outlook groups we made for each tutor. So click on the Add Staff button once again. Remember that we named these groups starting with your course code. So type your course code in the People field and then click the Search Directory button and they should come up. With our Outlook groups, we're going to change their status to Guest using this drop-down and leave the boxes for Email Notification and Events ticked. Untick the Business Hours box so you can enter the exact times that your tutor has agreed to be available to assess oral presentations. Let's say Michael has agreed to mark on Monday, so I'm going to cross off the other days. Now, he doesn't want to mark oral presentations for four hours straight, so I'm going to schedule him a break by putting in 9 to 11, then 12 to 2. Once you have scheduled your marker, press Save. Now repeat this process until you have added an Outlook group for each person who will be marking presentations and scheduled their available times.